Um, yes, yeah, so lesson 14 of A Course in Miracles is one of my absolute favorite lessons. I mean, I talk about it all the time, lesson 14, because I got to um, meet uh, Dr. Hawkins in uh, Sedona, Arizona, and he um, ran, he was a Course in Miracles teacher and ran an attitudinal healing course where people recovered from very serious illnesses like cancer, autoimmune illnesses, AIDS, and whatever, to, uh, just applying spiritual principles. One of the core, I mean, I mean, all of the lessons are important, but in terms of taking out physical illness, um, lesson 14 is, uh, I think, uh, brilliant. And lesson 14 says, um, God did not create cancer, and so it is not real. Okay, and he had his own, what I call, slightly more friendly version, which is, I cancel my belief in cancer. When I say cancer, you just substitute it for whatever the illness or problem is. It can, it can also be substituted for other things, not even illnesses, you know, like... Uh, but I cancel my belief in can like so. Of course, says God did not create cancer, so it's not real. And uh, God did not, or I cancel my belief in uh, cancer and infinite being. Uh, but he he shared this thing because he had tw he had twenty three illnesses which just released through a application of spiritual principles. And so uh, God guided me to meet him. So because I had a lot of physical illnesses myself, and um, one of the things was. Um, uh, I mean, the Course in Miracles talks about things which, you know, things in the world are what we call magical. Uh, magic meaning, like, if you uh, pop this pill in your mouth, um, you know, it'll, it, you know, it'll, it'll cure you, whatever it is. That's a, a magical belief, you know, like, uh, this pill will just uh, cure you, this pill will do this for you or that for you, or if you spray this on, on yourself. So those are what are called magical things. Um, but um, not against magical things, but the Course would say that's, that's the belief system. Like if I pop this pill in my mouth, then that's the thing that will cure me. Um, now, the thing with spirit is that um, spirit also has the power to, to, to perform miracles. And the things that we, ha we project with causality like when the ego perceives external objects and thinks that external objects can fix it, uh, like if the doctors say this magical pill will cure, cure you, that's what's pr we're projecting magic, that something outside, an object, is so special that it has the power to heal or do this or that or whatever it is. That's a magical projection. So now if you believe that these things do that, they do tend to do that. You know, so um, I'm also a hypnotherapist. So we know from, uh, and of course, I mean, it's in alignment with the course, I mean, the power of belief is so incredibly strong. Don't underestimate it. Like uh, having the belief in an illness, or having the belief in an allergy, you can install that into people using hypnosis. Uh, very, very, so you can see the power of thoughts to create. So if you believe the pill will fix you, it will fix you. Uh, but you can take you can take, and so, but I did this thing like uh, Hawkins shared, and I thought, that's brilliant, and he recommended it. You might as well, you know, take advantage of the magical stuff while you need it. So it's like popping in the pills. So when I, um, I always shared this, and I have proof, I have medical proof of this. So when I had, my, I've always shared about this. Um, I had a kidney transplant as I was doing the Course in Miracles on a dialysis machine. They gave me, you know, the, I had 13 medication, which is normal for someone just on a transplant. And uh, so there's like two huge carrier bags full of med with medicines, like take these home with you, you know, and pop these in your mouth every day. Uh, so, um, so the thing of course, of, you know, I cancel my belief in side effects. I cancel my belief in adverse side effects of medication. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. God did not create side effects from pills or treatments. They're not real. So you can pop the pills in or take the treatments, but cancel that they do anything bad for you. So you're still taking the good stuff from it, but you're not taking the bad stuff. Now I did this, and I had so many miracles, and I went from 13, this is true, from 13 medication to one medication in two years, and it was like a mystical thing. I went in to see my, um, my transplant doctor, a lovely guy at the Royal Free, and he looked at me, and I had just one medication <laughs> left, and he said, uh, I don't know of anyone taking less medication as a transplant patient than you. 
And then I went, to, this is funny, some of those mystical days, I went to see the, the pharmacist and she said, you're going to put us out of business. Because most people are taking, you know, it's like, you know, she can, you know, you need this, this and this and this and this and we give you four months of that. And it was like, you know, it's more or less taking nothing. So that was the power of, you know, cancelling the beliefs and side effects. And then as you cancel the beliefs and side effects and your consciousness raises into spirit, it's like you don't need the medication. It's like God takes the medicines out of you one by one. Now, um, 